Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. My name is Steven and today we are going to be creating this tab dynamic content area thingamabobber. I had a guy from YouTube come to me with a question. He wanted to do something similar, similar to this on his website. And after <laughs> much too long of working with him, trying to figure it out, trying so many different methods, I finally combined two methods and came up with this one. And it's really simple actually. I can't believe it took this long to figure out. So what it is pretty much is a set of tabs that changes this content in the bottom. And you click it, sorry for the text message, and you click it and it changes the content without reloading the page. Very nice, especially if you have like a blog or something and on the sidebar you want to show your recent posts, categories, whatnot in a small condensed area and you don't want the page to refresh every time you click it. So let's start from a blank slate right here and we are going to start off with just building the simple HTML and then we'll add the even simpler jQuery to create the whole effect. So if we start off, we're going to want to work with uh, the navigation bar. So I'm going to go with a UL with the ID of navigation. Very simple. And then we want a list item. And you want to make sure that you give the list item a, uh, a class of active. And then and the reason we're giving it, a, giving it a class of active is because when you click on it, if you can see, it underlines the active state. And that allows you to have a different color or whatnot, whatever you want, so you can stylize it better. So we're going to give it a class of active, and then we can close that off, and then let's give it an anchor. And the anchor is going to have its own class of button, and each button is going to have the same class. And then href, we want it to, to link to nothing, pound. And that's because when you click it, it's linking to nothing except to this content, and you'll see how that's done. And then we can close this, close this off and just give it a simple title of, I don't know, posts. Let's copy this and paste it here. And we're going to change this class to inactive. And that's going to be the all the rest of the buttons. So let's copy this and let's do it maybe three more times. All of them with inactive. And what jQuery is going to do is when you click on a button, it's going to change this inactive class to active and the active class to inactive. So let's name this categories, frequently asked questions, and contact us. Save it, and if we refresh this, you can see we have some buttons going on right here. But when you click it, there's no underline or any other states. And if you're wondering how I got these pictures on here, you know, stylized, it's all just CSS3. And here's the, the code here. Uh, just simple gradient with border radius color, or with a border radius and border colors. And then I have an active state, a hover state, and a uh, another active state, which is a color. I don't know. I don't know what I did. Disregard that one. Okay. So now that we have the buttons, we need to create a section with the content in it. So underneath here we are going to make another div with the ID of page-content and that's going to house all, all of our sections. And if you're not sure what a section is, you'll see. So let's create a section and just section and we're going to give it a class of sec, short for section. And then inside of here we're going to do our first content, so h1 of, uh, what's our first page? Posts recent posts. And then inside of here, let's just do a quick p tag and we'll write these are the most recent posts. And if we save that and refresh this, you can see what that looks like. But again, you click the other buttons and it does absolutely nothing. All right. So now, for each button, we want to create a section for it. So copy this, paste it. Um, paste it and how many buttons? We have four buttons. Alright, so now we can, we're going to keep it as the same class but let's just change this to 
recent categories, frequently asked questions, and contact us. And let's just throw in some random some random lips and text. And these can be as long as you want and as short as you want. So let's make that one long and this one can be mid-sized. Save it. And if we refresh this, you can see we have a big jumbled up mess. All right. And now this is when we have our uh, jQuery come into play. So you can scroll to the top here and I have jQuery loaded using the Google script and you can prop I'll I'll try and put it into the comment below but you can find it by googling it so now we want to create a quick script tag so we're going to do script and type equals text slash javascript I can't spell today and then we, we are going to close this off and then inside of here is where we are going to do our JavaScript. So rather than typing this all out slowly and trying to explain myself while I do so, I'm going to just paste in the jQuery. And it's all just pretty simple stuff. I don't really know what it all means, and I'll just explain the, the parts that I do know. Um, so pretty much you want to start off with when the document is ready. So what this does is when the page loads, it's going to run this function everything within these curly brackets so all of this and then again it's going to find uh, all the UL list items the UL navigation list items so it's just being specific it's saying look at only these sections right here in the UL navigation list and then when you click it run these functions so everything in between here alright and this is pretty much um, I'm not really sure how it all works, but uh, some of this is adding the active and inactive states to the navigation, so it's swapping out active and inactive, so you can get the underline or whatever you want for your navigation bar. And then it also hides uh, all except for the first section, which is these right here. So if you don't want to use the word sec, you can change that, but you need to change it here and here. And then also, if your navigation bar is named something different, like tab bar or whatever, you're, you're going to want to change it here and here. All right, so let's save this and refresh this, and hopefully it worked. So if I click here, as you can see, it changes. Very nice. So let's pop open a Firebug and see exactly what it's doing. Um, let's see if we can expand this navigation. Okay, so right now, if you can see, this first list item is active. All right, we click this one. It changed that to inactive and changed this one to active. Let's see that again. You can see it's swapping it. All right, so now let's also look inside of this page content. And as you can see, this first section is display block, and that's the one that's showing, and the rest are display none. So as with the active and inactive states uh, or classes, it's doing the same thing for this style of display. So you click here changes the first one to display none and the second one to display block and it just keeps doing that for whenever you click it and because all this content is on one page rather than going to different pages it doesn't have to reload the page all it's doing is hiding and rehiding the different sections very simple a really short code and it's nice for just a simple easy quick sidebar thing this took about two weeks to figure out, I don't remember exactly, and quite a few hours. So hopefully this will save you time. And if you have any questions or have any problems that you run into, be sure to send me a PM or leave it in a comment below. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and pass this along, and share it to every one of your friends, family, relatives, and enemies. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.